Thanks for watching the Denison Sports Network. I'm Brandon Place, joined here today by head baseball coach Mike Deegan. Coach, you're entering your second season as baseball coach. Talk a little bit about your first season and what you took away from that season that you can help use to help the team improve in 2014. Last year was a challenging season. Uh, we, we focused a lot of our attention on just establishing a culture. And we were working on a lot of things such as how we're going to travel, how we're going to handle team meals, uh, the way we take infield, outfield, just really taking care of, of a culture. We're trying to establish a baseball program, not just a baseball team. So last year we were taking care of a lot of the off the field issues, a lot of things, and just getting the foundation set for where we want to be uh, in the years to come. Once again, it's, it's one thing to have a baseball team, it's another thing to have a baseball program. So last year we got some things set in place, this year we're moving a little bit further into the baseball piece. The six seniors from last year's team all played a significant role in the team's success. Despite losing them, you are returning many players who played a significant role in the field and logged many innings. Talk about those returning players' evolution. Last year, uh, you know, those, those six seniors were, were talented. They were very talented. They're tough to replace. We lost a lot of innings. Uh, we lost uh, three or four everyday guys in our lineup. But this year, we have a few guys that are established as well. Uh, we have we returned three pitchers who we feel have, have significant innings and that are ready to compete on a high level. That's Connor Murphy, Kyle Colgane, and Ian Barry. And then position-wise, we have four guys who logged a lot of that bats. And that's Andrew Tui, Ryan Mulligan, Nick Marston, and Charlie Applebach. So with those guys in, in a year development, and then plus a host of other guys who have gotten better in our program for the last couple of years who are just waiting for an opportunity, we feel really good about where they are going into the season. On top of those returning players, you and your staff brought in 16 freshmen. Talk about the importance of that big of a class, and have you had any surprises from that class yet? You know, it's, it's a big class, um, but we, we knew, last year we finished with 24 guys, so we needed a class with some depth and obviously with some talent. So there's some guys in there that we feel are going to compete right away. I'm not going to mention names, but I feel like we have a few guys that when we open up on Saturday uh, will be in the lineup probably, and then as the season goes on we may see some others. In addition, we have a couple other guys in that group that may not make an impact this year, but in years to come, they'll be featured guys for us. So the group's good. It's, it's, it's deep and talented, and we hope to, to follow up with another great class this, this next year. As last season progressed, your spring break and non-conference schedule proved very, uh, very significant in your NCAA, NCAC tournament run. Talk a little bit about your spring break trip this year and how beneficial it will be. Yeah, we, we have a, if there's a tougher schedule in the country, I'd like to see it. I mean, I think we play, we play right out the, the bat. We play Marietta and Case Western this coming week. And then in Florida, we play a lot of great teams. I think we play three teams who've won national championships. But what we tell our guys all the time is that if you want to be successful, you have to surround yourself with successful people. You know, we say if you want to be a millionaire, you better hang around millionaires. Uh, as a joke, but the same thing same thing's true in baseball. If you want to be a great baseball program, you have to be around great baseball teams. So that's what we're able to do. We put ourselves in that environment and hopefully in, in a year or two this year uh, we're able to compete on a national level. That's our goal for our program. We want to be a nationally academic institution and also a national baseball program. And the only way to do that is to play those types of teams. Thanks a lot coach for joining us today. Glad we could have you here. Denison is set to start the season this weekend. Hopefully the weather will hold up. For the most up-to-date news on Denison Big Red Baseball, go to www.denisonbigred.com.